This is how I gain. Is it? It is. Yeah, I noticed. I'm just being slow. Oh, okay. It's not running right. Okay. That's too bad. Don't Do you think hurt. that's helping? I don't think that's helping, Cassidy. It's not like an elevator where if you push the button, it goes faster. Is that how elevators work? Yes. Really? Okay, so why are you upset? Because the computer is slow and it crashes and is unstable. Did you forget the script? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we just looked at it. I forgot the unstable part. I remember the randomly crashed and the slow, but I forgot the unstable. Okay. All right, tell me how to fix it. Uh, well, we're going to use the command prompt, like everything. I don't know what that is. Well, don't worry. Okay. We're going to learn. I'm not working. Okay. Okay. Okay, so the way we run these commands is via the command prompt. So the first thing we're going to do is open up a command prompt. Is that the command prompt? No, Cassidy, that's the background. Is that the command Stop. prompt? Don't touch the screen, please. Is that the command prompt? No, Cassidy, that's a webcam. Is this a command prompt? That's a mouse. Now you're just, now you're just going out of your way to seem silly. Is that a command prompt? That little message okay, thing? Okay, so go click on the bottom left of the screen on the start menu, please. Or the search bar. Okay, now type in CMD. That's going to bring up a... Uh, okay, now click run as administrator on the command prompt. Does it say yes? What if I say no? Then it won't run and we won't be able to fix this system. Okay. Okay, now. Yes. Now, we're going to run the command. We're going to run two commands, okay? The first one is SFC. Like special effects? System file checker. Oh, special effects is F SFX. Yes, space. Forward slash. You put, you added a B in there. Get rid of that B. Didn't mean to add a B. Calm down. Okay, and then scan now. One word. What's the worst that happens if I add a B? It won't run. It won't run the command. Now hit enter. Okay. Will it kill the computer? No, it just won't do anything. Okay, so what this is going to do is it's going to run a check of all of the system files. It's going to do a system scan. Yes. So like when you're on Steam and your game isn't working quite right, the first thing you do is you validate the files to make sure there's no corruptions. Steam has Fall Guys. Yes, it does. I like Fall Guys. Well, if you were playing Fall Guys and it wasn't running right, the first thing you do is you check, is you validate the files to make sure there's no corruption. What this is doing is it's scanning the files and it's downloading any new files it needs from the internet and it is replacing them. So it will run better. So if you're experiencing instability in your OS or random crashes or freezes, before switching out your RAM, you run this. You would run this command uh, to make sure that that's the issue. It's taking a long time. Yes, it takes a minute, and this is just and this is on an NVMe SSD <coughs> uh, on a perfect install. So if you do have errors and it's a hard drive, it will take even longer. Yay! And it will tell you that. Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations, or it will tell you that it did find them, and it fixed them, and it will tell you what it fixed. Cool. Yes. Now. But, but I taught this computer integrity in kindergarten, so it knows better than to have any errors. Okay, good. That was one of the words of the day. Okay, good. So, the next command we're going to run is uh, D-I-S-M, okay? D, wait, slow down. So D I S M dot E X E. You're going too fast. E X E. Yep. Two E's. Yeah, E X E is an executable file in, in okay, well, you're, Windows. Well, you're talking too fast. I need. I'm bad at typing. I need slow letters. Okay. Now spacebar. 
forward slash. Now type online. I hope I spelled this right. Now space, forward slash. I saw a space, there's a lot of forward slashes. Clean up image. Is that one word? But instead of a space, put a hyphen. Where? Instead of a space, put a hyphen. Clean up hyphen image. Mm. Okay. You do know that clean up is not one word, right? That's a hyphen, right? Yes. I-N-A-G-E. Okay, now s space and forward slash again. Now. There's not more spelling in computers than there should be. Restore health. One word. Boy, you are asking a lot of me. Well, you do know how to spell. Okay, now hit Not enter. well. There. Did I spell restore health wrong? Um, you put a sp you put a slash after it. Oh. Here, wait, I got it. Don't worry. So, little known little known fact about the command prompt: hit the up arrow. So, if you hit up in command prompt, it will replace everything you you it will just copy paste the last command. So if you made a mistake in it, you don't have to retype the whole thing. Now hit enter. I did. Yep. It's doing something. Mm -hmm. Look at that. We have we have run SFC and DISM. Now the thing about the thing about those two commands is DISM will actually fix files the SFC needs in order to run properly, which means we need to run SFC again. But first, we need to restart the computer. I don't know how to do that. Well, click on the start menu. Can I type restart into the command prompt? You can. Great. Type uh, shut down. Shut down. Now space, forward slash, the letter R. Now hit enter. Do I hit enter again? It doesn't matter. Aren't you a little impressed I knew I could do that in the command prompt? No. You should be. You didn't know that you could do it. You just asked if you could. I was pretty sure I could do it. Okay, well. I was, I was pretty sure. I was, I was right, too. So, that's good. Now, we, we've restarted the computer. I'm sorry, am I boring you? I'm just tired. Tired of having to run SFC commands by yourself instead of automating it? And... Windows? Yes. Yeah, me too. Now, we all we need to do is run SFC again. Go ahead. I don't know that... I don't remember it. You don't... Re we just did it. I thought you had a good memory. I do. I, did, I didn't... I didn't pay attention. SFC. Oh, here. We have to... It said no. Click on it. There you go. Okay. SFC. The computer said no. Space. Boop. Forward slash. Boop. Scan now. And hit enter. Woo! Okay. And we're scanning, scanning, scanning. I'm gonna do it about on what. All right. Now we've run all of the commands on this computer to uh, keep it operating smoothly. Mm -hmm. But how long did that take? Ten minutes. Sure. I mean that's time you could have spent playing Doom Eternal or Fall Guys. Wouldn't it be nice if we could just automate that process and you didn't have to do it yourself? It sure would. All right. So, go back to uh, the search bar there. Oh, search bar. Down on the bottom. Woo! Yep. And we are going to search for Task Scheduler. Can I just click on it? You can just click on it. That's because I used it recently. It's there. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to go over on the top right here and click on create task. Okay. Now this screen is gonna pop up. Um, all right, so we're gonna name it uh, whatever you want. Something descriptive. Okay, you are a very <laughs> slow typer. Yeah. <laughs> good lord. Okay. Um, okay, good. Um, and now we're going to check run with highest privileges down on the bottom. Yep. I now, have the highest privileges. What's that? What? Nothing. Okay, now go over to the triggers tab. 
Okay, and we're gonna click new. And we're gonna run it once a month. So monthly. monthly. And click the drop down on months and select all. You can you can check the box <laughs> next to select all months, Cassidy. I know, I wanted to do it really slowly though. Okay, now on days. Um, let's just randomly pick the... 25th. Sure. Every month has a 25. It's the best day. Okay. And... Okay, so now every month on the 25th at 4.40 p.m. it's going to run this command. So hit OK down on the bottom. Okay. Now go to Actions. Woo! And we're going to set up four actions. Now, ideally... Look at me. Ideally, we would... Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Ideally, we would run both... We would run... D SFC, DISFM, whatever it is, and then restart the computer and then run SFC again. However, it would be annoying if once a month your computer just restarted randomly. So it is it is possible to run SFC and then DISM by themselves and not have to restart. Cool. That's uh, which is not best practice, but if you're doing it consistently, you're it will be fine. Okay. So we're gonna run uh, PowerShell, which I like better than Command Prompt. I don't know what that means. Oh, so in Microsoft Windows, there's Command Prompt and there's PowerShell, both of which allow you to interact. Is PowerShell a type of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle? No, that would be a good name though. Like for a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle themed superhero? Yeah. Yeah. Um, or like their team, they could be called the PowerShell. Like, yeah. Power Shell Unite. Like, if they were the, um, you know how in Power Rangers they all have the big giant thing? The Megazord? The Megazord. If the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles had a Megazord and it was the Power, the power Shell. Shell. Yeah. That'd be really cool. Um, well, I like pretty things. So These are very pretty, though. So type in Power Shell. Power Shell. Dot right. exe. Dot exe. Okay, now go down to Add Arguments. Okay, and we're going to type SFC. SFC, that's X. Space. Woo! Forward slash. Woo. Scan now. Oh my god, so much of this typing the scan now thing. Now okay. Okay. Hit oh. okay or enter, either one. Hit okay, don't type okay. Okay, now new. Woo! And we're going to do PowerShell again. PowerShell. I'm gonna say that every time. Dot exe. I think that'll get annoying. Okay, now add arguments. And we're gonna type out the really long one. Alright? Does that look right? Yeah, that's that'll work. Great. Now we got a 2319. 2319. Good job, Cassidy. Now, uh we are gonna have a Where's my trophy? Here. Have a uh, Pentium D processor from Intel with the worst thermal paste application I've ever seen in my entire life. I That's your trophy. That. I don't want that. Oh, well. Are you being ungrateful about your trophy? Yeah. Oh, well. Hmm. I have four sportsmanship. Well, great. You don't get one. Give me the strongest tape. I want the strongest tape. No. Okay. Give me okay. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to find it. Come up here to the library and find, uh, God, find the command. Stop leaning on it. But I don't know. There. There it is. Now click on it. Come over here and click run. Run. Okay. And we're gonna see a PowerShell pop up. And I like PowerShell because it's blue instead of black. PowerShell! PowerShell. You're not doing it right. It's PowerShell. Do I have to throw my head back? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, now, Cassidy, you know how to fix your computer if it is randomly crashing. I mean... Without replacing your RAM. I don't know how to do it, but I'll call you if I have a problem. You can just watch this video. I'll just watch the video. Yeah. Or I'll just call you and make you do it for me because I'm too lazy. To, to watch the video? Yeah, but if you don't have a tech, techie brother, watch mm, the video. Then watch the video. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a special case. You are... You're definitely special. That's rude. Uh, don't start it again. Well, do the thing. 
I don't remember what I said. This is a public service announcement. You should like and subscribe as fast as you can. Have you heard of COVID-19? Well, I don't have that, but I think I have COVID-2021, and I'm not sure how long I have left. So like and subscribe as fast as you can.